This is just another coil test, but before I take this one apart I wanted to document it because it was working so well. Here's the circuit I'm using now. I'm using two transistors. A 2N222 2 transistor and an MPS A06 both in parallel. I show three large inductors on the circuit. Right now I'm only using two. There's another one inside this coil. I'm planning on using three. This large one with another one inside. They'll both go inside this one. Right now I'm going to be running it off a cell phone charger that uses a AA battery. It'll put out about a little over five and a half volts. My L2 coil I'm using 21 gauge solid coated wire. What I did is I wrapped it around the coil loosely then just took it off and punched it together and taped it so it's more focused on a certain spot of the L1 coil. If you're using more than 3 volts you should do a tap start where you just connect a 1K resistor to the base of the transistor and, let, and then let it go. Here's a 20 watt CFL. And I also have a big 40 watt CFL over here. Now this is only running off a uh, one and a half volt battery in that cell phone charger. But even if it was running off six volts, I don't think it'd be too hard to charge another six volt battery with the field around this battery. You can find more info at the Energetic Forum and also at overunity.com.